As part of the section, we have seen some of the most commonly used functions uh, that we typically use on regular basis with Spark SQL. However, there are n number of other functions which we haven't explored. You should know how to explore those things based upon your problem statement and come up with the solution quickly. Let us see how we can uh, perform word count using Spark SQL to understand that process. When it comes to the solution, first and foremost, you should spend time on understanding the requirements. In this case, the problem statement says word count, so you have to work with the business to understand the requirement and also you have to identify how the data set will be, prepare the data set and then you have to take it further. In this case, word count is nothing but identifying how many times each word is repeated as part of this input data set or the data set is similar to this. So to make sure that I have proper data set to perform the word count, first I'm dropping R&D database, which is nothing but ITVST underscore demo. If it exists, I'm dropping. Then I'm creating it. Then I'm switching to the database. This is not required as the database itself is uh, deleted here. You can actually say cascade. So if the database is not empty, still it will be dropping. Now I have created the database, switch it to the database. Then I have created a table by name lines with one column, yes, of type string. Then I'm inserting five records into it. You can preview the data by running this. Now you have to get the word count. Each record have multiple words in it. We are, have already explored a split function which can be leveraged to break these phrases or sentences into words. And that's what I'm doing here. As we are already familiar with the split function, I am saying split of s comma space and it will actually return word array from each and every record. And you can see the arrays here. Each record is nothing but array. Input is five records, output is also five records. Now to get the word count, one way is to break down these arrays into individual words and then perform group by on top of it to get the count of each word. Here you have to go to the list of functions by running show functions. So let me add a cell here. I'm using a simple Scala code by saying spark.sql show functions. The reason why I'm using the Scala code here is there's a limitation with respect to Spark SQL in JupyterHub environment where it will actually show only 10 records. For that reason, I am saying show 300 and then false to get list of all the functions without truncation. Now you can go to the list of functions. You can easily figure out that many functions are not relevant with respect to what we are trying to do here. For example, apps, echoes, admins are not appropriate. Array, array contains, they might be appropriate. Like that, you just have to go through the functions and narrow down which functions might be helpful to you. In this case, array, array contains, and then uh, if you scroll down further, there is explode, there is explode outer, so and so forth. Now you have to experiment with these functions, array, array contains, explode, explode outer, to see which function is working uh, to convert our uh, array of words into individual words so that I can perform group by on top of it. So explode is the function which can be leveraged here. So let me clear this output. I have already did the research and decided to go with explode. If it doesn't work, then you have to explore other functions. If none of the functions are solving your problem, then you might have to see if the, any third party library is there, which can be registered and start using it. Otherwise you have to develop a custom UDF to satisfy your requirement. Now you see, we got the arrays exploded into words. If you want to get the count, you can actually say, count on top of this, like this, select count of one from select like this. So on exploration, you cannot directly perform the count. You have to nest this query and you should be able to perform the count. And you can see the results. So we have 27 words and we can see the number of words here. However, our requirement is to get count by words. So one of the problem what people might uh, run into is when they use explode function like this, they might run query like this. Explode split s comma space, then comma count of one from lines, group by, have the explode as part of the group by. But some of the functions like explode, you cannot use as part of the group by. You can see it is throwing an error. Generators are not supported outside the select clause. Explode can be used only in the select clause. As explode can be used only in the select clause, we have to nest this query. We, whatever we have seen here has to be nested the way we have done here. And it will actually give a view of a table which contain all our words. 
Now, using this as a nested query, I can actually define a column name for this explode, such as words, and then I can actually say group by words, and as part of the select clause, I can say words, comma, count of one, then from, then the query in uh, circular brackets to nest it, and then at the bottom, I have to use group by, and I have to use the alias which is specified for this uh, explode uh, expression. So this is how the final logic will look like. Select word comma count of one from, select explode of split of s comma space as word from lines. So this will return those 27 records and the column name uh, will be word. And then I'm using uh, uh, the word as part of the group by and also as part of the select clause to get the word count. And now if I run this, I should be able to see the results. Again, if you want to get the number of records now, so after exploding, we, we have seen 27 records. Now, if you want to get the total number of records after grouping by a particular word, again, you have to nest this like this. And you should be able to get the total count of uh, rows. I have to use percentage percentage SQL here. So our input is 27 records. Now the output is 21 records because some of the words are repeated more than once. So this is how you can actually go through the problem statement, explore the functions, come up with the solution by combining multiple functions. Also make sure that you validate to confirm that you are able to solve the problem. Once the problem is solved using some test data, you can incorporate the appropriate approach to solve your original problem as part of your application.